Making a pajama is very easy and you can easily make a pajama using your ready-made pajama or your measurements. If you are using a ready-made pajama, you only need full length, waist and your hip measurements. Take about 2.5 meter fabric for a pajama of 40 inch length. This is a ready made pajama which I laid on fabric which is washed and mark 1 inch from the inseam. The other side, the out seam is half inch that is left there hip curve side one inch and just make note how I place this ready-made pajama the front side of the pajama is up and then keep one and a half inch on the top side for the Elastic or a string or the cord. Keep half inch more for the seam. So in total keep 2 inch up and then cut on the outer lines. If you want to make this pajama more loose or tight than your usual pajama which you are using for measurement then you can do so. Bottom keep 4 inch for the fold. From the side separate the pieces. And this way, your front of the pajama is cut. We have two pieces of the front. Now we fold the fabric to cut back of the pajama. Fold the fabric. Keep the front. And then keeping the front, we cut the back part. From the hip line, keep 2 inches out. From bottom side, keep 1 inches out. Till the thigh, keep 1 inch out. Then shape till the hip line. From hip line, come 6 inches up, mark it, come 1 centimeter inside and then from the waist side, come about 1.5 inch inside and join these marks. Give it a shape. From the front, cut as shown on the line. From the side, separate. If you want your pajama to be loose, slightly loose, then you can keep half inch more from the side. Now our front and back are cut. We make the pocket 
I just show the length and width here and at the time of stitching this pajama, I'll show you in detail. The length of this pocket can be till the hip line and width of this pocket can be about 7 to 9 inches. You can give it a shape or just make it a rectangle piece. It all depends on you. So let's start stitching this pajama. Join the hip curves of the front. Join the hip curve of the back part of the pajama. This is the pocket. Rectangle fabric, I've taken two sets. Length, width, I already told you. Give it a shape if you so want. Now we have two pieces which are joined from the bottom side. Now this is the front side of the pajama. The middle hip curve is joined. This is our pocket. Straight side would be kept on the side of the pajama. If you fold this pocket, it will be half. Cut, make a cut in the middle. Make a stitch on the side till this middle small cut bring back part of the pajama the other part of the pocket will be joined with the back part of the pajama The right side of the pajama is up. Make a straight stitch. Till this end. Once you reach here, lift the needle Your pocket will be folded into half Turn this joint towards one side and make a top stitch Both front and back side of the pajama pocket will be turned, the stitch would be turned one side and on this joint a top stitch is to be done. Now your pocket would be turned into half this way. This is the middle stitch which should overlap, overlap the other one. Join the pocket from the top. In fact, close it from the top. Close the pocket from the side.
from the bottom end the pocket is already closed because this is folded fabric now measure this pocket keep one and a half inch plus one and a half inch that is three inch from the top then six inches the six inch is six part of hip to insert your hand in the pocket so this is pocket opening from this point where the pocket opening marking ends make a straight side stitch till the bottom of the pajamas Now I show you the other pocket also. These are the two pieces which are joined together. So this pocket the measurement would be same as the other one. You can keep the measurements more or less but both the pockets should be alike. So this is one piece of pocket from the middle we cut it we keep the side straight side of the pocket on the side of the pajama make a straight stitch Here you stop and bring the other part of the pajama and this pocket side would be joined to the other side of the pajama. So this pocket side is folded and this is the top part of the pajama side now join till the middle Making pocket in any dress is simple and using this method you can make pockets in any kind of dress. Once you finish your stitching till the middle of this pocket, fold it make a top stitch from the middle stitch before that fold the joint towards one side and make a top stitch
top stitch is done. Fold the pocket into half. Close the top of the pocket. Stitch the side. From the bottom, it is already closed. Now we have most important thing to do. Make a important marking here that is 3 inch from top stitch till the marking both the pockets would be stitched the same way 6 inches for the pocket opening and now stitch till the bottom of the pajama Pockets are done and we have stitched the sides. These are our two pockets which will be turned towards the front side of the pajama. The sides are already closed. So we turn these pockets towards front and join them on the front side of the pajama. But be very careful that you should not Accidentally stitch the front side with the back side. So both the sides should be separate. The pockets will be joined on only on the front side. Now see how the pockets are joined on the front side. This is optional but this is an effective way to keep the pockets fixed from the side or from the middle. Same way we join the other pocket also and now we fold one and a half inch from the middle. This is for elastic casing or a string casing as you like to have it. Fold the entire elastic casing one and a half inch from every side. Keep about quarter of an inch inside and rest will be folded. This way you can keep about one inch or three-fourth of an inch elastic width for the casing. If you use the pins, it will be easier to make a final stitch. If you don't have pins, you can use an iron to press so it is easier 
to handle the fabric at the time of stitching. In the middle of the front side, keep a gap of 1 inch open for elastic casing and rest of the fold would be closed. Stitch along the fold. Once you reach the middle of this marking, stop because it is important to keep this 1 inch marking open. I have 3 fourth of an inch elastic width. The waist round is 30 inches and the elastic I've taken is 28 inches depending on the width of the elastic the elasticity or stretchability of it increases if it is thinner if the elastic is thinner the elasticity or stretchability will be more insert it and using a safety pin Be sure that you get it spread evenly and then take the elastic out from the other end and join it with a, with a multiple stitches the way I have done it. What I have done is, I kept the elastic straight. There are not many gathers in the front side of the pajama, but there are more gathers towards the back of the pajama. So close this front opening of the casing. And now stretch the elastic with both your hands and Make a stitch over it. So it will give you a market ready-made kind of a pajama look. When you reach the sides of the joints of the pajama, then you have to make sure that your machine needle moves freely. Now you make stitch and join the middle inside of the pajama. Start from the bottom. Using pins or using a basting stitch or kacha is helpful to get your leg stitches evenly. If you feel or if you find that uh, both the legs of your pajama are not even, they are not equal, then you can cut them slightly to get them equal. Both of the legs should be equal. The stitches should be even. I am making one more stitch. Because generally, 
the pants or pajamas ripped from the coach area so it is important that this stitch should be strong enough now let's fold the bottoms this is the last part this is more than 4 inch in fact so you can keep it one and a half inch at the least or four or five inches to give it a sturdier look earlier many years back maybe in 19s all the pens and pajamas used to have four or five inch bottoms that used to be hemmed but now as everything is getting very commercialized now generally even the pajama bottoms are kept only one or one and a half inch it depends on you i'm keeping four inch you can keep it more or less so now make a fold and make a stitch The stitch should be neat and tidy. Make sure your machine is giving clean stitches. If it is not giving proper stitching, then clean the dust and lint from the bobbin area. Now we stitch the other side of the leg, the bottom of the other leg also. And this way, our pajama would be complete. This is a very simple process, and this pajama came out very beautifully, nicely. And uh, you can, I'm very sure, you can uh, make use of your time and make some beautiful pajamas for you. And the designs, fabric, texture, color, everything depends on you. You can make changes. If there is any doubt, you can ask me in the below comment section. And please. Do like and subscribe. Take care. Goodbye.